So as you've seen there, I've got it clamped in. Quite pleased with the fit actually, it didn't take too much fettling. The only bit is the flange in here, just to cut down the gap and make it quite close to the floor. Um, which you've seen how close I got. I just used basically a drift. Quite a decent size in the end there. And a hammer. Um, but to be honest, most of it didn't need much done at all. So a lot better than the other side I have to say. It's now in place. I can start welding. Now, this is the bit I don't like because there's no space to get in and no space to get the light in to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spot weld along here and spot weld this part here to the heel board first. Then that way I can get rid of the clamps and it gives me access. And if I can spot weld up here, again it gets rid of the clamps. So we try and spot weld first and then MIG weld. I did say I would miss a bit, and I have, so the spot welder wasn't taken here, and that's because I'm not taking the paint off here. For the companion bent, that's all the areas that I can spot weld have been spot welded. This bit here, the flange that goes onto the arch, I um, don't know why. <laughs> I've not drilled holes. I think I thought I could get in and spot weld, but no, I can't. <laughs> so it would have been easier when it was off to drill the holes, but there's still a bit of flex in it. So I'll get in something behind it, drill the holes, um, and this will get plug welded when I do the MIG welder next. Right, plug welding time and um, I'm going to start with inside the companion bin because it's my favourite bin. Okay, that is the companion bin in. I just need to finish off with seam seal and primer, tidy it up a little bit. But other than that, it's in. It's uh, solid. Some of the bits, I wasn't fussed about the finish because it's getting seam sealer over it anyway. Um, and I'm not going to spend time just getting it looking perfect to put seam sealer over the top. So um, yeah, I'm moving on to this now. And I should be able to get all of this spot welded in. Fairly easy. So the first thing I'm going to do is get it clamped in, make sure it's in the right place and get the spot welder back out.
This bit here needs a um, well through primer because the um, other closing bracket sits on top of it. And if you use your normal primer, it um, won't spot weld. And I'll now just need to let that dry before I put um, the last panel on. This one is the one I coated underneath because once it's welded on, you can't get access to it. So, this is the one goes in there, this sits over here, and this part is spot welded along here. This part has to be level with the top here. And it can be a bit fiddly because of this bit in here. Looking about there. I picked up on the camera, but that's the wind and rain um, pounding off the garage in the background there. Right, some spot welds. So it's all welded in um, and it fits really well. I'm really pleased with this side fit. The only thing I need to do now, brush wall seam sealer, go around all the joints so there's basically no uh, seam exposed. Do that, let it dry and then all these areas in here I'm going to be putting some flame red paint in because once the quarter panel's on it's harder to get to. So I'm not going to show that on camera, what I'll do is um, I'll end this video here and I'll do some shots of this finished in the next clip for you. <laughs> 